Hello and welcome back to another Stylized Station Breakdown, where we have talented artists take over the channel for a day and share how they create their beautiful environments. In this video, the very talented Ivan Volchenko gives us an amazing tour of his stylized graveyard scene and shares with us exactly how you can create your own environments as well. Now, speaking of environments, if you want to learn how to create beautiful environments in Unreal Engine, check out my brand new environment art course called the Environment Artist Survival Kit, where you're going to learn everything from making flowing grass to fluffy trees and sweeping landscapes. All 13 hours of content are only $49 forever. And you can also get a discount on the 3D coloring book as a bonus as well. So if you've been waiting to get it, now is your chance. I'll leave a link in the description for the course. Now let's get back into the video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hello, Stylized Station. My name is Ivan Volchenko, and I am an environment artist from St. Petersburg, Russia. Today I'm gonna show you a small breakdown of my artwork, Colin Stylized Graveyard, and give you some tips how to do things easier and faster. Here's some topics I wanna cover. Easy pipeline for stylized stones and rocks. How to create an old tree using Speed Tree and export to Unreal Engine 4. Back tree texture creation based on ZBrush Sculpting. How to create a moon and fire planes on the background. How to create a lot of candles and do it fast. Mystery lightning set up on the scene. So let's start. To create a simple stylized assets like here on a graveyard, you no need special skills. I usually start from a blackout in Maya. Then a ZBrush using Trim Dynamic Brush and make some edges varying around and also some roughness on the planes by using clay buildup to add and trim dynamic brush to polish it. After you created a base stone, add some cracks to make assets more interesting with damp standard or, or brushes and also pinch to make it narrow in some places. After this, going to create low poly in Maya, baking in Mama set Make sure you add more curvature power here and uncheck this box to make a all separately for each brick's assets you're baking. And start in texture and substance painter. You need only three colors. Main color, wear edges color and dirt color. Create layer with base color fill and two layers above. One with metal wear edge generator and one with dirt generator. Using this generator adjust look you wanna reach, I would recommend you to turn off grunches, cause they give more realistic look than we need. Ok, it's done! Now you can use these assets in Unreal Engine 4 separately, or pre-build something inside Maya how I did it for this big grave, combine it and export it to engine. If you had some experience with Speed Tree, you are aware how it's easy to create a nice looking tree here. We start from the trunk, so as we create an old scary tree, we need to use this feature, this hand drawing trunk. Now we need to add big and small branches, make some adjustments to achieve length, radius and shape. Using the displacement, make trunk and branches visually older and massive. Also, important point to add directional force, to make branches more directional. That's it! Now let's just export to Unreal Engine 4 and have a look at this. While importing, make sure you had checked all these boxes. To place trees on a level, you can do it manually or using foliage tool for better optimization. To create a nice stylized bark texture, we are gonna use seed brush. Before start sculpting, create two planes and name it Sculpt and Second Camera. Precise canvas resolution to square, for example for 1024 by 1024. Make an offset for sculpt plane and scale it a bit. My idea here to focus on a plane named camera and sculpt on the plane named sculpt. This way we will not disturb borders on a tiling plane. Make sure you activated the tiling mode and ZBrush by clicking on brush, curve, wrap mode and set it to 1. Ok, now we can make some simple sculpt on our new texture here. I usually using a clay buildup and 3 dynamic for main shape. Add some cracks with the same brushes I covered in the first topic. After sculpting, let's export our mesh to Maya, create UV and export it to Bacon Marmoset. 
to color our texture, I usually use Substance Designer, cause it's uh, more flexible to do with the texture. Put generated normal, ambient occlusion and curvature into slots. Generate height map from a normal and create gradient color node. Using this color peak, we can take any colors of trees you may like from references. Also, you can add some additional nodes to make material better, like slope, directional warp, to disturb the surface more. Tiling texture done. Now we only need to export maps and set up an Unreal Engine 4. I usually add a desaturation node and text card to make some adjustments after setup material. Let's talk how to create this far plane forest. To do this, create a simple cylindrical shape in San Maya with a big size and map it UV in a line. Next is the open Photoshop and start to paint some trees. Or you can also take some pictures from the Google as a base and just modify it to achieve a good result. Also, we need to think about opacity mask. Copy a black image to the new alpha layer and invert colors to make trees with a white color. Save image with the target format and make sure it's 32-bit format. Now, inside Unreal Engine 4, import mesh and picture, create material with mask and blend more. Connect alpha channel to opacity mask and color to base color. Also, you can connect a color parameter to use any colors you want, so it's more comfortable in this case. To fit image correctly, add a text card node and create a scalar parameter to adjust the material instance. Ok, now place mesh around your scene, far away. Scale it and using material instance make adjustments to fit texture as you like it should be. Add an exponential fog to make blend with far plane more natural. To create a moon everything almost the same, but there are some small differences. I used a simple Unreal Engine for primitive plane. In the material, I connected alpha mask to emissive to make some light from it. Added a panel node with a noise to create a small clouds moving around. It's almost not noticeable, but it gives understanding that this picture is not a static. Let me show you how to create candles. Using Maya, I identified a few types of candles I need. Few long, few small, few almost melted and few melted wax planes. Using ZBrush, make it look like a candle just simply using clay buildup with a round alpha, make some leaks around. There is no special advice here, all depends on style you wanna reach. After finished sculpting, bake each of candles separately. Avoid influence to ambient occlusion between candles and mama set. You can uncheck these ignore groups and ambient occlusion settings. After baking and texturing, let's go back to Maya. Now, when you have all separated candles textured, let's create a simple fire plane for each of them. Combine them for optimization purposes. And let's build some candle specs using the library we created. To create a simple fire material, let's just paint the mask inside Photoshop the same way as it was for our plants earlier and connect it to opacity mask in the material. Connect color parameter to emissive so we can easily change intensity and color of fire. Here in Unreal Engine 4 I imported a few packs, few separated candles and separated wax leaks. So now you can use the foliage tool if you want to create a huge amount of candles, or separately by hands, place it, rotate, mix the separate assets and fill surfaces you want. Let's talk a bit about lighting. Here on my scene I use dynamic lighting only, cause this is not a game, it's a showcase only, so I will not dive into light baking settings in this video. How to achieve this mystery mode? So, start from BP Sky Theater to add a horizon and sky color. Adjust star brightness. Add a skylight as a base fill layer and adjust to make scene more or less bright as you want to see it at night. Add direction light would represent the light from the moon and try to rotate more or less with the correct direction against moon. Set up a cold blue color and make a low intensity of it. 
Now we need an exponential fork to make a god raise here. In settings, find and activate volumetric fork. Here there are some settings that you can play with to make a scattering fork as you'd like more. For example, make raise more density or less. To make an accent on a center of composition, I add a warm light color from candles and street lights. If you don't want to see scattering from this point light, you can also turn off a volumetric influence for each of them separately. Also, I recommend to turn off casting shadows for these point lights to make light more natural and good looking. And last thing is particles. Using Niagara, create an emitter based on template called Hanging Particles. Play this number of particles and their size. Create a simple material with emissive color and add it to an emitter. Create a particle system based on this emitter and put it on the scene. This small detail with high gleam pack and overall scene look, even if emissive power is not so high. Alright, here was a small breakdown of my graveyard scene. Hope you liked it and took something new for you. If you still have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe on Stylist Station YouTube channel and also to my ArtStation profile to see more similar work in the future. Link will be in the description. Hey!